Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Uh, just, uh, just chilling at home, creeping up on the end of my staycation, unfortunately, which I'm not, uh, not too happy about it, uh, ending. It goes by all vacations, all time off, uh, always seems to go by way too fast. And, um, but whatever, it's Friday night, uh, I'm not going out tonight, but I am going to go out tomorrow. I'm going to go bike ring all day, and it's Pride Month, so downtown Toronto, there's going to be, like, things going on, and should be some, uh, some fun happening, some events, and, so let me, yeah, just let me, anyway, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's just do a little bit of a collectible videos, it's actually, you know, it's funny, I've done a few of these now, and I'm actually starting to run out of collectibles, I might have to go back to actually talk about movies, which was, aside from the bike riding stuff, was the original focus by Lemmy? Was the original focus? Sorry, it just I mean a lot such a funny noise which stepped onto the other thing over there. But uh, it was actually in the dryer, but uh, clothes dryer. But uh, anyway, yeah, that was the going to be the original focus of my my channel. Then I started doing other stuff, and you know got a little off track but yeah maybe this is my my excuse to get back into that but anyway let's just talk about a few things that I've pulled off the shelf camera in a good spot how's that I think it's pretty much exactly where it was but anyway uh, a couple things I know I've mentioned recently but I just thought I'd pull them out again um, one thing is uh, this Kessler wolf I know I did an unboxing video of it. I can't remember. I know I didn't do an actual video of it. So the first two things I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the other. Well, I might have to step away for one second. But but this is just super cool. So the lighting in here because it's nighttime right now. And uh, I don't have like a good light source coming from this side. It's just this lamp here. And then the stupid light above. But... Anyway, it is what it is, and can you, but I don't know, it's just, this is just so cool. I can't get around how awesome this is, but uh, anyway, so I will get that out of the way, and that will be the last time I ever mention that in a video, but probably not, but anyway, and the other thing I was going to mention, not sure where I put it, but uh, give me one second, you know what, I'll just hit pause. Okay, okay, back. Anyway, the other thing I was going to mention too is... Uh, this Wicked, Wicked Witch of the West on. I've got to get it to a good spot here because it's late. I guess I can put it up a bit, but this Wicked Witch of the West figure. Maybe if I move that back, move this here, move the camp forward. There, actually, that, that's much better. But it's pretty cool. It's got lots of detail on it and everything else. I'm not going to go into too much because I just did an unboxing video with this. With this one as well, not too long ago few weeks ago so anyway I just wanted to point that one out and also it's not really a toy it's more of a pain in the ass my new kitty yeah yes and they're still not getting along the two cats but uh anyway anyway he's cute he's adorable but he's a pain in the bum but anyway anyway enough about that uh so anyway let's uh, talk about some other stuff you know, this here I just pulled off the shelf because I was looking at it, and it's tough. It's not a beer. It's an energy drink. But one thing I, I don't know, it's, there's no visible holes or anything on it, but it's somehow leaking somewhere. It's, like, feels about two-thirds full now. But I picked it up, and it was stuck to the shelf, and I thought, what the fuck, you know? And then I didn't want to just rip it off because I didn't want the shelf to knock every, all the stuff off of it. But also, I just in case it was a leak, but, and then there's just a, a ring, so I don't know if it's even, I don't know, because I picked it up the other day and it felt full, because I was moving things around, so I don't know what the deal is with this, but I'm going to let it sit on a plate in the kitchen for a while, for a couple days, and just see what happens. Anyway, I'll move that out of the way. So up over here, I got, I did mention these, this and something, I think, I can't remember, but some ruby slippers from obviously uh the film version of the, the wizard of oz or well the wizard of oz but i always say the film version because in, in the in the book she's actually wearing silver shoes but they didn't look as good in the with the uh, technicolor so that's how they turned into ruby slippers in the film but they have a they light up I don't know, here this help that's still not 
<laughs> you can't really see, but they, they light up. So you can see in the back there somewhat. If I do this, maybe, I don't know. Does that help? Does that do anything? No, not really. But anyway, yeah, they light up. Anyway, move that back there. Here, this is uh, something that's actually been sitting in the car for years. It's just a little Jack Sparrow doll from uh, McDonald's, from Pirates of the Caribbean, obviously. So, somebody messaged me, but they can wait. And then I got this here from the dollar store a while ago. I'm not going to keep it in the package. I just, or in the, this plastic case, I just uh, haven't bothered to take it out yet. But it's just a cheap little toy. It cost me like two bucks or something, but pushed ahead and it changes his face expressions. But who knows? This will probably end up in a donation bin somewhere. It's obviously from the, the Force Awakens version because I just realized, noticed he's got a little red arm in there. You know, they had to throw that in there so they can sell action figures, but they would have sold anyway. It's Star Wars, but whatever, because the red arm really didn't come out, come up anymore in the movie, so it was just there literally to sell toys. Uh, so this one here, this I got recently too, is uh, the mummy. It's the, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm all dry. But uh, Christopher, the Christopher Lee mummy, you know, from, from uh, the Hammer films. And it's pretty good. It's a Mego toy, so it's not super ultra detailed. Like, that's obviously from the movie, but still pretty cool, you know. Because the only mummy figures I have were from uh, the Universal ones, which are great, because they're great series of movies, especially the first one. And uh, I was wanted one from... Uh, from Hammer Films, sorry. And speaking of Universal, it's not really collectible, so to speak, but it's a big-ass candle of Dracula based on the Bela Lugosi Dracula. Someone once said to me, and I totally see it, looks like Ernest uh, Bords, Born, Borgnine, Borgnine. That's, it kind of looks like him a little bit, and I, I do kind of see that. When I first bought this, it, was, it looked exactly as it did, but I can see that it was originally painted. You can see the like, little bits of paint here and there that it was once all full color, but I guess over time. But I bought it at an antique shop they used to have uh, in downtown Toronto called Afterglow. But probably a lot of stuff. I know I bought a couple skulls, not real human skulls, but a glow-in-the-dark one and another one. I think it was probably from a science classroom at some point because it's incredibly detailed to look at it. When I saw it in the window, I thought it was a real skull. I was like, are they allowed to sell that? But then when I looked at it, I saw it was uh, it was fake, and I bought it because it looked pretty cool. I still have it. But, uh, yeah. I also saw someone had one of these online, but it wasn't a candle. It was a statue. So, obviously, they used the same mold, and it was like uh, like plaster. What do they call it? Ceramics. Uh, you do it in like a ceramics class kind of thing. It was all painted up. So, I was able to actually see what it looked like when it was in all its glory. So, move that guy out of the way. And then this one here, I think is pretty cool, is uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. So this is from a company I've never really heard of before. Um, I don't have my glasses on, but I use them like a magnifying glass. Uh, I'm going to say Vitesse or Vitesse. But I'm not too sure. I thought it was a little bit older when I first bought it, but it's actually only from 2013, I think, or 2014, maybe. But it's got some pretty cool detail on it. It looks really good. I don't know if you can... The lighting is not the greatest, but... And one thing they took advantage... Or thought ahead about for people that are just collectors and buying things that want to leave it in the box is they stuck a little mirror in the back there, so you don't even have to take it out of the box to see the other side. So that's pretty inventive. And pretty nice them, I guess you could say. You know, the box is just some, some. Well, I guess just, just that silly actual picture. But it looks really good. It's got the the right tires and everything that were used in that that movie. Um, it's really cool. I like it. And speaking of Back to the Future, I got this one other thing that's also not a toy, but. And at first you're gonna be like, what? I don't get it. But it's this clock. Right here, <clears throat> and I bought this at that same store, Afterglow, speaking of which, and uh, it's an antique clock, and I'm gonna plug it in to see if it still works. You can actually still, you can even hang it on the wall if you want. And I used to have it plugged in, but it makes a lot, it's, it's makes a lot of noise, because you'll see what I mean in a second. It's got like some mechanical things inside, 
And um, I noticed when I, one day when I was watching Back to the Future a couple of years ago that uh, in one of the opening scenes when you see Marty go into the, um, when he goes into Doc's place and all the clocks are there and he plays the guitar and when it pans across all the clocks, it's right when it says Leah Thompson's name. So if you want to look for that at the same time. And the only reason I know that because I took a picture of it to show some people that I had this, but it has this clock in it. I mean, it's obviously not this exact one, but it's like the same clock, but not, this isn't the one used in the film, obviously. But anyway, I'm going to plug it in and hope for the best. It's been sitting on the shelf for years, so let's see what happens. Oh, it's working. Oh yeah, it's going a little slow, but you can see what happens. And if you look, you can see that this lights up, so that's actually a really cool detail. But you can hear, the, I think the mechanics are actually starting to wear out, but you can hear how noisy it is. But yeah, it's... <clears throat> It wasn't this loud before, but I think probably if I knew, if I took a chance and opened it up, I might be able to fix it. It might be just something out of place, but because the arm's supposed to go up smooth every single time, but it's not obviously. But, but it was still loud. It was like a like a whirring, humming noise back then. But I'm gonna unplug it because I don't want to wear it out. So, but. Not sure how old that is, but I know it predates Back to the Future, so it's not that new. And I, well, I guess I owned it for 30 years now. I think probably about 30 years I've had it, yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is uh, just a few more uh, bits and pieces off the shelf. Uh, if uh, any of it interests you, or you have any of these in your collection or whatever, and you want to make a comment below, that'd be great. If you want to hit like, that'd be good. If you want to hit subscribe, that would be incredible. Um, slowly still inching my way forward to that thousand subscribers and uh i really like to get there at some point and uh i got one more thing to show you now that i i was gonna mention earlier is i got a new tattoo on my leg it's uh karen from night of the living dead or some people just call it the night of the living dead girl by uh, played by uh i want to say her name's pronounced kyra scone or scone, but because I've never actually, I've only seen it in print. Excuse me, but uh, that's it there. So really, really happy with it. I just got it done yesterday, so it's still a little bit rough. And you're looking at a picture of a picture, so it's just easier than me trying to put the camera and getting the lighting right. But guy I hadn't talked to in over thirty years, or I guess about thirty years, maybe ish who he had uh he did it and he's been a tattoo artist as long as i've known him pretty much and i was really happy to run into him again why well, didn't run into him someone someone i know who also she's covered in tattoos and i was looking for recommendations and she mentioned him and i was oh yeah i forgot about him i haven't talked to him in so long then but yeah he's in toronto like downtown toronto so um i don't know if he wants me to plug his, his uh place on uh on my channel, at least not right now, but I should ask him about that. And if he does, then I will happily mention it in a, in a future video. But anyway, this is uh, Off the Shelf Collectibles. And uh, I guess thanks for watching. Be safe, be fun, and uh, until the next one. Bye.